Hi there, this is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, and welcome to the teaching of talking. I'm out in the desert of Arizona for my morning walk, and um, I'm walking past a, uh, a graveyard. And um, it's to my right, and there's a dirt road all around it, and this dirt road leads um, up into... Uh, a small mountain and so it's good exercise so you know I'm looking at the graveyard over here and uh, you know <laughs> you know there are a lot of us who in the back of our minds know that life only gives us a certain amount of time and uh, there are some who fiddle away at life and uh, they know they should be doing stuff. They know that there are things that they want to achieve, want to accomplish, um, but they're distracted. They're distracted by the TV, by social media. They're distracted by the telephone, family members, things like that. And what happens is they wake up in the morning and then by the end of the day, they realize, by golly, I haven't gotten anything done. <laughs> now, not, not many people are like that, but there are a number of them. And you know, as I look over at this cemetery here, you know, I see a place where people who once lived uh, reside, their bodies anyway. So what's the point of this video? The point of this video is that we're only, we only have a certain amount of time on this life. And um, I happen to believe we should use every minute of it, every second of it, to do whatever we can to bring happiness to our loved ones and ourselves, And I think when we take the time to give of our attention uh, to others, that um, it, it's also very, very satisfying. You know, it's as satisfying or more satisfying than going out and buying something. You know, like probably many of us did. If we were bored, we might go out and buy something. <laughs> but now, what are we going to do? Because we're home a lot. So, this is kind of like a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call that I'm constantly reminded of. And I hope you are too, because life is finite, I think they call it. And nobody knows how long we're going to be here. And so we should make every single moment count. And that's why I wrote The Teaching of Talking, and that's why I wrote the new Apraxia book. And that's why I'm writing a new Dysarthria book. Because of the fact that if you're a wife, if you're a family member, a brother or a sister, if you're a neighbor or you're a friend, you're a person who works in the school, and if there are any open, that you have an opportunity to make one of the greatest contributions of all to mankind. Now, what is that? Well, it's, it's the ability to help somebody talk. Now, the thing is that there are very definite methods to help people talk, and most people don't know what they are. And so they try to help the person with a praxia or with aphasia or with dysarthria. And what happens is the person with dysarthria or apraxia or aphasia, gosh, after two minutes, they don't want to do it anymore. And they don't want to do it anymore because the individual who's trying to help them, 
who loves them, just really doesn't know what to do and, and ends up just stepping on their toes because they don't really realize what is really necessary and how to go about helping a person talk without them feeling castigated, without them feeling criticized, without them feeling like their self-worth is um, lowered. And so this is to remind you, and it's to remind me, and it's to remind everybody I know that we only have a certain amount of time because, <laughs> you know, St. Peter, he's waiting for us. And who knows how long that might be. But it could be any time. So let's do what we can today so that we will never have to say, well, I should have or I could have or I would have. And uh, that's a very common expression for many, for many who know they need to do stuff and, and just don't. I should have or I could have or I would have. Don't be a shoulda, coulda, woulda guy or person, man or woman. Don't be one of those. Let's be a doer. Let's do. So, so yeah, let's do so that each and every day when we get into bed and we turn off the lights, we can be very happy with ourselves because we've taken the time to make a contribution to somebody who needs help with their talking. And you can learn how to do that. And we've made it possible for you. So down below this video are a bunch of links. And you can um, find out how you can help people with aphasia, how you can help people with apraxia. We have a whole program at teachingoftalking.com to help those with aphasia. And there are many with aphasia who have apraxia and you can't do anything with the aphasia until the apraxia is um, uh, uh, handled until the apraxia is diminished. And there's a way to help people with apraxia uh, and, and, and get them speaking again. And it sure isn't with an iPad or workbooks. You know, <laughs> you know that's what the herd is using. Uh, you know, the apps, what up, and all this. But it's not an app that's going to help you talk because an app doesn't think. You think. An app uh, can slow speed down, can speed it up, can decrease the amount of words that are stimulated, can uh, 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 tap a person on the back and, and uh, reinforce them and uh, talk about stuff that they love to talk about or uh, talk about things they need to say in the house. There's so many things that a human being can do that a darn machine just is not capable of doing. And these machines are exorbitant in price and um, most end up on the shelf. So anyway, this is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist, reminding you, like right down the road, <laughs> is a place for eternal rest and if you're not ready to go there yet, because I sure as heck aren't, then let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's not go, I shoulda, woulda, coulda, had a, you know, all, all these excuses. Let's just go ahead, help our loved ones speak better, because I'm providing you with the materials that you can learn to help you help them. And, and you can make such a wonderful contribution to anyone's life. So this is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll hope to see you soon. Don't forget, thumbs up and check out the links below so that you can get a free copy of the first chapter of our new book on the Praxia. And we're also going to be offering and scheduling this week and next week, we're gonna be scheduling seminars and webinars in Apraxia, in dysarthria and with aphasia. So if you're interested in really learning how to help your loved one talk or your client talk, and you just don't think that you've got the, the method down that, that truly works, just 
check us out. So have a great day. Have a great week and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye now.